Hey, what's up, everybody? It's the Untouchable Wolf, and today I'll be showing you how to use the Bloody Lease, a very effective and fun weapon to use. So let's go up here. Let me show you the location. Make sure to hit that like button. This is a live gameplay, live commentary. Make sure to subscribe for more Elder Ring how-to videos and live streams, and that is the location where you can get it. All right, so let me know your thoughts. How are you enjoying Elder Ring? I'm just having so much fun with this game. So, all right, so to let's look at the stats for this weapon, so you can see how to use it to the fullest. It does have a skill weapon attack that you can use called the Dynas Finis and I'm just showing you how to use this weapon really good you see the attack power you see the attributes require strength at 16 dexterity 19 arcane and 17 and the skills and strength dexterity and arcane now I'm also going to be showing you how to use this weapon with a war cry in a little bit too we're going to go with the basics first all right you have the this is a thrusting weapon so I am on PS5 you got your basic attack with the R1 with the right trigger heavy attack stronger thrusting pristine then you got the skill now to use a skill I'm on PS5 remember want to press the left trigger now that is the basic skill but if you want to get the thrust action in there you want to press the left trigger followed by the heavy attack the right trigger now to use the skill for your PC it would be the shift plus the right click on your button of the mouse or the right bumper alright so you want to hold the left trigger We'll press the left trigger. Follow it up with a heavy, heavy attack. You see what that? Let me, let me show you again. So follow up the skill with attack from the heavy, the right trigger, the heavy attack. And that should just be a devastating attack move. Now, this is something extra that you can do, but I definitely recommend it. You want to get the Asha War. You want to apply the Asha War. War cry on a particular weapon for the right for the right hand and the left hand we're gonna use the bloody weapon. Now what this does when you apply the Ash of War War Cry, you're actually going to give the bloody weapon a charge attack, which is very, very devastating too. Now you don't have to do this, but I really really do recommend it. Alright, so I'm gonna show you what it does. Alright, so first we're going to apply the war cry. You're gonna power stance the weapon. And I really messed that up. So remember guys, this is a live commentary. So apply the war cry. And then you wanna do your power stance with the bloody weapon power stance and you see that charge attack. Now this is a very, very effective charge attack. And just keep this in mind. You don't have to do this, but if you would like to, um, make sure to just equip the the war cry ash of war really really easy so all right let me go let me show you some live testing at my favorite camp remember this is a live gameplay all right so first we're going to do the war cry method method and then we're going to try the just the basics without the war cry just say if you want to use a weapon by itself all right here we go what up guys it's always a guy right there okay what up man All right, applying the war cry. And a lot of times this attack, when you apply the war cry and charge up the bloody weapon, is gonna stagger a lot of opponents, most of the opponents. So it's very, very awesome to use. All right, so let's apply it again. About to fade away. Remember, you got a power stance, the bloody weapon and then just charge you with the heavy attack. So, remember, you know, it took, you wanna upgrade the weapon, so. You wanna upgrade the weapon, so this is just the base stats. All right, so we're going to actually just use the weapon on its own without the word cry, so you can see the skill. Like untouchable wolf, man. I'm waiting for you, man. Enough of the shenanigans with the war cry. All right, here we go. So, if you have any questions about how to use this weapon, please let me know in the comment section down below. So, you want to use the skill and then follow it up with an attack with the heavy. And I messed that up, but it's all good. So, you got to be a little bit closer up. There we go. He's like, I'm going to unleash 
the beast untouchable wolf. So you really can catch them when they're charging you. You know what I'm saying? There you go, like this. This would be an effective strategy for PvP too, guys. I'm just saying. Alright, so this is how you use the bloody weapon. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts and I really do appreciate your support. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe for more Elder Ring how-to videos and live streams. And thank you so much. Alright, thanks for watching and take care and more wolf videos be coming soon. Later. Peace. Woo! <laughs>